you can see here, some of the messages will show as hidden. I don't know exactly what's triggering this and why some people are hidden and some are not. So those that are hidden are not visible to everyone. I can't click unhide, but even when I click unhide, the next message will still be hidden and it still doesn't show. Like even the messages that unhide are not shown to the viewers either. So that's why in on the stream, you can see in the bottom right, you still see those messages. So if anyone is ever confused to me answering something that you don't see, that is why. <laughs> we got FedEx here. FedEx, the legend chess player. Ooh, Vietnamese. I haven't not gotten to play much Vietnamese since they got the buff. If you lived a thousand years ago, where would you choose to live? Strange question, I know. At least you know it's a strange question. A thousand years ago, I would live in Norway, man. I want to experience how my Viking... My ancestors, how it was for them. Why is everyone talking about FedEx and chess? FedEx is... His real name is Federico. I've known him for many years. Many, many years. I've played tournament with him. Me, him, and some of you will remember Wack. Legend. Um, he is... I'm not sure what his rating is at right now, but he is a Grandmaster in chess. He has won the Argentinian uh, championship multiple times. He has played with all the big guns. And he's just a really, really high level chess player. I think his ELO is 25, 2600? 25? 25 something? You just Google him, that's insane. Yeah, like I said, he's a. Uh, he's a. Uh, I think over the last seven, eight years, he has been top two in Argentina. Always. Pretty much at any given time. 25, 27 is his rating right now, yeah. He also beat Magnus Carlsen in, uh, like, uh, it's these, uh, what's it called? Title Tuesdays? These types of online events. He has had some wins and such against Magnus. So that's a guy that can play chess, I'll tell you that much. I think he even got second place in one of those tournament ones. Maybe even won it. Or won one of those online events once. At either Lee Chess or Chess.com. He lost their last Argentine Chess Championship, but I think there might be a slight chance that he might be a better chess player than Viper, I think. I'm not sure about that, but... Mm, really? Better than me? Do you know, you know that I won uh, Zugzwang, right? I am. I have won a chess championship myself, so I'm not sure if I would stretch it that far. Let's ask him chess question. See if he's keeping up. better <laughs> he has chosen to play TTL over the ongoing chess world cup makes sense do I have enough food to click up here they carrying 60 
I have enough food. This map is really bad. You mean valley in general or my map? I guess my map is really bad, so I guess that's what you're referring to. Who's Cocoon? It's FedEx. He has not moved out to the middle at all. Oh, you don't like Valley? I'm not a big fan of Valley myself either, but I don't mind it. I I don't mind it for more variation. I don't mind it for some variation. I mean, it's pretty much Arabia with some more center attention to the hunt. I haven't decided on my strategy yet. We'll see. I think I'm gonna open stable. I don't think stable is the right opening here. Because of... Um, oh, it's going archers. Where's that mana arms? This guy thinks he can Alcatraz, eh? I will have to add like a uh, range fairly quickly here. Something like this should be an okay approach. Okay, I don't have to walk so far. This is a ladder game, yes. He is fully walled, so we're a little bit exposed right now. Could do that, I guess. He is actually a mega full walled. He might... Shouldn't he feel a little bit on timer, though? Unless he's sneaking his army around there. Like, I'm taking Hunt in the middle. If I knew my opponent was taking Hunt in the middle, I would feel like I'm a little bit... But I'm not ahead in economy, let's say. I'm gonna add one Spearman. Because... Because... He knows. In case he's going, uh... Some scouts from behind his walls. To try and catch me off guard. The Daylord common on Valley? I wouldn't say so, but I had the time to do it right. I guess with, uh, with uh, Vietnamese, you always want to do 
wheelbarrow now, since it's coming in so fast. He could just go cast laser and really catch me off guard. I want him to show me his army, just so I know what I'm working with. I'll build a market or something. I just need to push cast ledge then. I can't really leave the middle either. Then I don't have anything to defend in case he attacks. Very awkward spot when he just full walls like this. Don't like scrums, they discourage aggression. Worked. My transition though. I'm gonna go all the way to the edge. Might be the safest place. One archer. Okay, that means the range is full of archers. He made, he made a mistake there. He just showed me that he has 10 archers plus. He didn't have blacksmith upgrades though. But at least we know now that he is making archers still. Couch is nice. Uh, the biggest problem we have here is that our one range is in the middle of the map. He did sell his stone. That's also very good information. Wasteful with my scouts, but it's okay. It's a knight with barely any upgrades. Not too scary. Why is Viper always right? Am I? Don't mind that comment. He's like three nights for me to be scared. That's annoying. about the archers? Well, it was just, uh, what's it called? Process of elimination, right? Why would a single archer suddenly pop right in that location? Oh, he got double killed there. Spear and scout. The only logical explanation there was 
My opponent has made too many uh, archers and it is now full. Ooh, look at this Alcatraz player. Popped out, it was full, yep. I mean, that was, on, that was the only logical explanation for him to be there, right? Uh, just take the gate, maybe. Yeah, this Alcatraz player is insane. He did buy backstone to build TCs. Another interesting thing to consider here. Ouch. Now we should just have a, I wouldn't say far superior economy, but we should have a superior economy. I wonder how many people would have realized that at top level. Have you seen it before? Well, I've done it before. I mean, I know how it works, right? I think a lot of people would have realized it. Maybe they wouldn't have thought about it. I mean, there's a chance people, some people wouldn't have thought about it necessarily, but I don't see why they wouldn't realize that. Uh, ooh. I guess I want to wait for upgrades to come in. I don't think he has... A monk. It's not ideal because I have some nice upgrades coming, but what can you do? I was wondering, can you block a douche by placing farms? On paper, yes. Because if the farm is there, he cannot build there, but that's... Suddenly you're spending 50 wood. Uh, 60 wood, unless you're Teutons. Per block of attempting to... Uh, to deny him, right? That's a big investment as well. I'm going for the big knight's play. I'll do light cap as well. Don't he think he, ex he will expect this switch. Are you using bigger minimap? Uh, no. This is a self-determined size for my user interface. Even if he does some sort of fast imp approach here, I should be able to overwhelm him with units. That's my thought process here. This army is out of position. And even if you add monks, I will have light cap as well. Yeah, he's not catching on to my tech switch at all. You better wall up fast, my man. That was a fast conversion. If I ever saw one.
I wonder if he did ballistics. That's gonna help him a lot if he did. I still think he's gonna take too much damage here to ever come back from this. It's just like... Vejiko hit to steal a farm. Yeah, I mean the farm would buy time, yes, and you would deny the douche right on the spot. It's still a risky approach though, because... You're basing your assumption that you can m make multiple farms worth 60 wood to deny his uh, douche. And that's where I'm like a little bit, mm, can you really afford that? Can we justify that? Now he's very likely going to be faster to me than to imp to than me to imp, right? But I don't mind as long as I'm getting sufficient damage, which I think we are. Oh, that was open actually. Wait, are there really two relics right next to each other here? There are. Maybe I killed a monk with the relic there. Okay, the fact that he's still not input Byzantines is um, a very clear sign that he's in big trouble this game. Castle is always gonna go down, right? But that's what we're counting on, we're expecting that. We just do our own castle on the hill. Oh, he's trying to keep it alive. I didn't realize that. The thing is, he also has to spend time now on cleaning up the stuff in his base. So he won't be able to take advantage of that time to move out and kill me. Oh, he took the relic. Oh. Wait, does he not have ballistics? I can't tell. <laughs> Oh, I know who does not ballistics. Could go for the Omega Skirms. Oh, it's open anyway. I don't have the last... Oh, I don't have Bracer yet. 
He doesn't have that many upgrades, so it's fine. Should go elephants, right? It's only one classy move here. You want one of Vietnamese skirms, the best skirms. I would say so, yeah. It's actually pretty nuts. You get the 100 HP on the elephants in Castledge if you want to. It's pretty insane. So much rating. So much death. Oh, he's trying to bring the relics relic there. The elephants have to be assigned that might be time. I think so. Yeah. Elephants were always going to be the killing mother. Would have, been, have to be a full castle age game if you want to equal for elephants. Yeah, true. I mean, I did commit heavily on castle age, right? With the idea that I will take enough of a lead that even if it gets faster to imp, it's not going to be a problem. So I could have maybe justified a faster Imperial as well, uh, faster uh, Castleish Elephants. Like the upgrade is super cheap. 250, 250 for 100 HP. You pay 150 and 100 for 20 extra HP with Bloodlines. This is so cheap. Now they're obviously immediately countered by Monk, so it's not always a good idea. But if you have Light Cav as well in the mix, then why not? Well, it was a nice game though, just like... Obviously, not much happened in early game, but I think it's a nice showcase of like just adapt and scout based on what you see, right? The worth to use Imperial Skirms. I mean, on one to one, you can never go wrong with Imperial Skirms if there are range units or halves and things like that in action, right? You can't really go wrong. But it's, I mean, this game was also tricky, right? Because I never knew exactly what he was doing. I think the big tell was when that archer popped out of the archer range. That was the big tell. So that's like a such a simple potentially mistake. Like if he just had the gather point to move away from the range into his base, so I couldn't see the archer standing exactly there. I probably wouldn't have known exactly what his uh, what his approach was going to be.